the kindness games scoreboard <laughs> how you doing kelsey i'm good how are you Tim? i'm amazing Love i mean it. it's like uh you know last week where i'm at we had a high for several days of like 27 oh my god and then today is 50 it's wild it's like saturday here it was 63 and it was like 40 in the morning I'm like oh my god you don't know what to wear you're like multiple layers and you just add and subtract layers right you can take the beanie off you can take yes. the sweatshirt off you need to <laughs> layer up with your tkg gear where's your tkg gear no it's over it's in the closet over there <laughs> you just gotta rock the stuff at work so i do i, I just like wear it on my calls there's so we have so many products now it's literally amazing it's like t-shirts and tank tops and hats and sweatshirts Mugs. and mug yep and Mugs jackets. And, yeah so good no excuses you're right all right today we're going to do the scoreboard this is for uh december 13th happy monday crazy can't believe we're already here it's like a week or so till the holidays i was gonna say you know what happens next week a little thing for like, christmas crazy Wait, is, that next, is that next week yeah next saturday week from Ooh. saturday but yeah just barely next week right you're like amazon prime hurry up <laughs> <laughs> speaking of i gotta I, I still have to order a couple of gifts yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like supply chain i don't know i don't know i don't know what's going on with the ship <laughs> not my bad i love it it's all about well, the thought so uh week of december 13th we are at 41 alumni now erndy vanderleesh yes which i don't think he says it that way but i think it's pronounced that way from the german if it is in fact german it seems kind <laughs> of germanish to me germanic ernie you'll have to chime in in the comments is it a yeah. german last name or are we like way way off we want an audio message of how it's pronounced too. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah, he, he just finished up on Sunday. Today's Monday. Guess what? He's in overtime already. What? Wild. I know. After he commented, I'm like, oh, your posts are awesome. Such a such heartfelt post, right? But then he comments, oh yeah, I can't wait for overtime. I'm like, yes, that's some dedication right there. Heck that yeah. was awesome. Ernie, we salute you. Not even a day off. Kindness is not tiring that man out. Truth. Hey, do you know what's going on at the uh, rare air? Oh, gosh. No. He is still a slacker, but he's not feeling <laughs> it, actually. Lee is, where, where's my thing? All right. Lee is at 4 OT28. He's almost a 5 OT. That was his goal, wasn't it? For Jingle Bell? It was his goal. I believe he's nice. trying to catch me, but I'm at 5 OT 24, bro. <laughs> Actually, hold on. We're doing the scoreboard. It's 25. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> also, um, I kind of fell off the Jingle Bell kindness. Like, I've only done two. Kelsey? How I feel you. No, I feel you. I have done. This will be. It, does this count? It, it does, yeah. Technically, this is three. Little I've only done kindness. <laughs> now it counts. Yeah, counts. <laughs> I've only done two as well. I actually recorded some the other day though, because I thought about it and I was all dressed for our holiday August oh. party. Like, hey, perfect you know, time. I think I'm gonna have to jump into some two a days mm -hmm. and yeah. knock it out. I need to pick up my slack. I am not going to reach uh, <laughs> OT <laughs> seven <of> OT, <laughs> oh my God. which I was just kind of messing with Lee anyway, like just to be like, you can't catch me, bro. Right. Okay. Um, you're still ahead. Yeah. But hey, you're about to hit four OT. You're at three OT 25. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know. I need to hustle then. 26. Four more. One for the rest, one each day for the rest of the week. I'll be there. So this is how the top of the stack, we have one person in 5OT, that's me. We have one person in 4OT, that's Lee. We have one person, two people in 3OT, that's you and Coach Kat. Woo. We have three people in 2OT, Elisa Mula, Steve, 
didn't have to. <laughs> you know it's coming. And uh, Min Karianis. But it gets super interesting when you get into the single overtime. Like we have a lot of people in single overtime, right? We have mm-hmm. 22 people in single overtime, which is awesome. These are 22. We have 41 people who have finished their journeys. 22 of them are in overtime. Um, That's an incredible number, actually, because, a lot. right, that's more 40. It's like half, literally half the people have continued their journey, well, at least seven, one more post, right? people above overtime. That's awesome. That's so, crazy. I mean, that's literally what's 22 plus 7, 29 people mm-hmm. uh, that have finished their journeys and have gone on to overtime. So cool. That's good. Yeah. But look, look at a little something, something. There's a phenomenon going on at the top of overtime. Uh, the top of the stack at overtime uh, is overtime 16, Kekashan Dadwani, co-founder of the Kindness Games. Okay, right? She finished last Thanksgiving. So over a year ago, she finished her 30 days. Mike Gibbs finished in September. He's at OT15. He is about to overtake Kekashan. I think he's calling you out, Kekashan. <laughs> Sarah Marie Baumgartner, the amazing SMB. Yes. She that overtime 15. She's right there with Gibbs, about to overtake Kekashan. Love that. We got the, the Stittmeister, the Christopher Stitt. He's I love the nickname. T12. Oh my gosh. I need to see him in a Santa Claus outfit. Uh, Yeah, I think that needs to happen. Easter. Santa Claus, Grinch, honestly, whatever. Whatever he wants to dress up. Elf? Oh, three. I think SMB will join him for that one. She's a big elf fan. We have two people at OT11 Paul Moxness and Kunle Palemo. So that's our top six people have done 11 or more overtimes. That's Incredible. awesome. That is awesome. Seriously, it's just, awesome. it seems like when I, when I did my first 30 and then continued, it's like, it gets a little bit harder to continue, but you're in a routine already. And then it's like very energizing when you do your posts, right? Like I think it's, so. yeah, it really starts your day off when I was doing 30 days and or one every 30 days. Nope. Said that wrong. One post every day for 30 days. The third time's a charm. <laughs> um, it, it just like started off your morning so nicely, right? Like you were saying, when you get your coffee and you watch videos, I need to start doing that because I can do a shout out. You know, I mean, I, I grab my coffee in the morning and then I watch all my LinkedIn notifications, which are mostly the kindness games. So cool. That starts my day off awesome. Yeah. It's a great start. Love that. Something you should do. Inspire your morning with a little caffeine and gratitude. Shot of positivity. Caffeinated gratitude, anybody? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you marketing. You marketing, man, you. Uh, yeah, so those, ready, those are our highlights, right? Uh, Ernie Vanderleesh, you know, not only becoming number 41, but jumping straight up into overtime. We've got six people at the top of over uh, OT. Um trying to overtake Kekashan. She'll be overtaken in a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, she's just kind of like floating, laser river style, Kekashan. <laughs> she's like, eh. I don't know awesome. if she'll even watch this video. Hopefully she does. Speaking of though, uh, Lee and Kekashan uh, just killed it in Vegas mm-hmm. at the IPSB conference. Unfortunately, Kelsey and I were put in the stranglehold by life, not allowed to go. So sad. So We're I mean, cheering it, was only, on. it was only second best of what it should have been because me and you <laughs> would have been amazing. But no, actually, there's a lot of feedback coming in uh, from the executive protection industry and the panel, uh, Lee Outen, uh, Kekashan Dedwani, John Harris, Brittany Galli, um, and it was uh, moderated by Kristen Leonardson, who's at 18 right now. She's killing it, too. She is killing it. Oh, yeah. 
Um, yeah, apparently they just did a great job and people really received the message. They were like, wow, this is so different and so needed in this industry, which is amazing. So Lee, Kegashan, Brittany, John Harris. Very well done. Whoop, whoop. And IPSB team, thanks for the opportunity, right? Because so cool that I don't want to say we went out on a limb, but yeah, we want to present. We were asked to present actually, right? Or asked to be on the panel. Yeah. And changing mindsets is not very easy. I would all. just say in the past year, I have put in for a leading with kindness talk at three different security conferences. Zero results so far, security industry. IPSB came to us because they saw the need to lead with kindness. Are we gonna be seeing some leading with kindness presentations in the future? Fingers crossed, I hope so. This might just be a start, right? Good feedback and I think a lot of people have definitely shown interest, right? Because it's joining the kindness games or leading with kindness is just part of the kindness games, right? It resulted in that. But I think being curious is one of the things I'm passionate about because that's yeah. one of the biggest things that came from kindness games for me other than awesome community, but being curious about other people and why they activate the way that they do and everybody having a seat at the table. So you have it a conversation with someone else and you can learn from them. It makes such a huge difference. And it makes you a better business professional, better at your role regardless, and just more well-rounded human, I think. For sure. You know, and the other thing is, this is a new mindset mm -hmm. for a lot of people, but the security industry in particular. So I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes. We are still gaining traction. We have two journeys to watch. We have Janet DeBeese Fenner. I don't know if I'm supposed to say both of those last names, but it's just like what she's got in her LinkedIn profile. But she's just Janet to us. She's awesome. Um, and she's got great hair. She, <laughs> as Lee says, best hair in the industry. Right? Like, dang, Janet, you're rocking it, girl. And she's a cool person. Janet is at 28. Knocking on so the door. She'll do it. For sure, by end of year, for sure. I hope so. I okay. think she will, but she's kind yes. of like, she's leading me on. She's like, I'm taking yep. my time, Tim. I'm not going to follow what you want me to do. I'm going to do what I want me to do. And I'm like, I know. it's. Okay. I love it. I love that her posts are so, they're sporadic too, but so genuine that when you yeah. watch them, it's so cool because it's like a story in each of them. So. I, I feel like she'll do it to close out the year. It long. really reflects who she is as well. She's a very thoughtful person. Mm -hmm. uh, Jen Stanford at 21. Yes. She is a friend of mine from Virginia. And uh, she jumped in, um, I'd say, in November, right before Thanksgiving. So she's clicking, she's clicking right along. And her posts are really great. She has the best lighting in the industry for her Zoom. <laughs> like my wife hears her voice. My wife knows her. And she's like, oh, let me see. And she's like, man, she looks amazing on those, on those uh, videos. She does a good job with the production quality. Me, I'm pretty ugly in real life. I'm pretty <laughs> ugly on video. My wife's like, should we pay somebody to actually like construct the background for you? Like as much as you're recording. I'm like, just wouldn't be me because I don't actually care. <laughs> you're authentic Tim that's all I'm a blurred background you want to see the kitchen <laughs> mine's not that pretty either <laughs> we have movers and shakers we have hold on nine movers and shakers well maybe seven the last two are not like kind of wiggling not really okay. moving, shaking right now. But <laughs> Holding on to the truck. I'm gonna get him going. <laughs> John Harris is at 18. Natasha Ryan is at 18. Connie Ryan is at 18. Kristen Leonardson at 18. Oh my A god! Four-way 18 place tie. Okay, this is their challenge. Your last post needs to be together. If you stay the same 
or maybe your 19th us post. decide <laughs> who is which. It's got to happen to someone. Sometime someone's going to do a joint post for their 30th. You know, I, I will say that these people at 18, except for Jonathan Harris, I don't know. I think Jonathan Harris is kind of going with the flow, although he did tell me he's going to finish this year, but I kind of feel like he might just like get me and be like, I'll finish on January 2nd, Tim, <laughs> just because you want me to finish. <laughs> That's, awesome. That's the kind of relationship we have. It's like, <laughs> um, but think about this. We're at 41. We have two in their 20, right? So that's 43. Yep. We have a four-way tie at 18. So 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. We have 47 people. If these people in their 20s and these people tied at 18 finish by the end of the year, we still need three more people to get our goal. 18 days, I just counted by the we end of the year. 18 days for them to finish. And we have the next three people, Colt Parsons at 12, Allison Sands at 11, Jeff Sieben at 11. All very attainable. They could do it. Dean McKay is at nine. That might be a tough one. He'd have to go into like a couple of days. And Jake Edwards, he's at six. Jake, school's out, bro. Like he works at a school. Like I don't, you should be doing three a day. Three a day, Jake. Don't let me down, bro. Make sure you throw the, my dog to sit your cat, please. Because it's still my favorite line to this day. <laughs> you love that podcast, don't you? I love it. It's just like everybody with such a straight face. Yet you guys have such crazy times and humor. It's awesome. Jake is so funny. He keeps, um, he keeps sending me like, uh, Apple maps links. Mm -hmm. And like, I'll like open it and it'll be like a tennis club near his house. And be like, bro, we should move out here. There's a tennis club. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to get me to move out there. <laughs> That's awesome. Does he play tennis too? No, no, he just does oh. I do. Okay. So he just wants to beat you. He just wants to get me out there, which Jake, I feel the love, bro. One of these days we're going to meet big hug. It's going to be Have good. You never, you've never met either. No. I, wow. I've, never, I've never met he or Paul. Like oh three guys God. in the ball, none of us have met ever. So crazy cool. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never met Lee. I've never met Coach Cat. That's also crazy. Lee is crazy to me that you haven't met him, especially because you guys have been in the industry for so long. And then look, now you're brother from another mother. Brother from another mother. Yep. Very cool. All right, everybody. So um, hey, this is a scoreboard for December 13th. Have a very Merry Christmas and an exceedingly yeah. Happy New Year. Watch out for, I was just going to say, 24 Hours of Kindness. And if you wanted to start your 2022 The Kindness Games journey, reach out and say, I want to start on New Year's Day. And we can pair you up with somebody in the 24 Hours of Kindness and you can kick it off on New Year's Day in a global time zone. And you can pre-record because we can help you the last week of December, right? So you let us know. And you just cut out the um, sound. So that was some serious passion. <laughs> <I'm just down. laughs> that's, that's awesome. I love when you do it. <laughs> any, uh, any last thoughts, Kelsey? No, I just think, I mean, I can't the last scoreboard too. I didn't really think about that, but next week is the holidays. Um, so I just thank you to everybody who has really crushed it for the past two years now, almost year and a half. Um, it's incredible to see how many people that we have. And I say it every time, but everybody's journey is being so different, I think is fascinating yet really cool. Um, the community that we have and the passion that people have for just being a genuine human is heartwarming right like you the craziness in the day-to-day -day, and especially during the holiday season people try to like throw their cart in front of you because they're stressed out about holidays no no need for that right so I um I'm just honored to be part of the the journey and watch everybody and cheer them on and involve anybody that I can so I agree if anybody wants to start or if you're nervous or if you just want to chat, 
Don't be nervous. Talk to us. Yeah. No. What do you, you say? Know, the water's fine. Out there for you, <laughs> if you are nervous, yeah. you can jump on with me. You'll look amazing compared to whatever I look like and sound like that day. <laughs> I'm crazy. We'll get you started. We'll give you some tips, pro tips. Yes. This is not that daunting. It's supposed to be fun and it's energizing. Fun. Exactly. Yeah. So. All right. Hey. Merry Christmas, Kelsey. We'll catch Thanks you so. in two weeks. Sounds good. And you better get your Jingle Bell kindness in gear. I know. I have also, to. Also, I okay. should too. <laughs> I know. Because I'm slacking. <laughs> <laughs> the kindness games. <laughs> <laughs>